Greetings everyone. We will continue our discussion on information retrieval systems. In the previous sessions, we have started about the signature files and how you can construct a signature file. So in this session, we will be looking about what are the basics of your signature file uh, which we have covered in the previous session. We will conclude about that particular basics and I also told you about a sequential signature file and how it is constructed and also we will be looking at the classification of signature files and then we will be looking at one part called as the compression. Okay. So in the previous session we have, uh, we have talked about the signature files and the sequential signature file. From the sequential signature file we will be getting the classification of your signature files. Then we will be looking at one of the classification part that is compression. So as you have seen in the previous sessions how to con construct your sequential signature file that is we will be breaking down your particular documents into blocks and each block will be having its own set of words and each word will be converting it into a word signature and from those word signatures we will be getting our block signatures. Okay. And we will be constructing our particular using those block signatures we will be placing the block signature row by row in a sequential fashion that is why we will be calling it as a sequential signature file and each sequential signature file will be having three parts one is your signature file and we will be having the text file and we will be having the pointer file which will point to the individual blocks. This is all the things we have seen in the previous session and I told you we will be having the classification part. So we have seen the sequential signature file where you will be storing your particular signatures or block signatures in a sequential fashion in a row wise manner. So by storing in this manner we will be having a certain space overhead and we will be having some issue with your retrieval process. So in order to improve upon that particular sequential signature file we will be proposing some methods okay, to improve that particular operations. So the main ideas with which we will be developing our methods regarding your improvements and find the classification of your signature files we will be using three methods. One is your compression. So the compression part will be used whenever your particular signature file is a very sparse signature file. That is your particular signature matrix whatever you have seen in the previous example that is in sequential signature file. So if the particular signature file has more number of zeros than ones then we can perform something called as the compression. Okay, we will be modifying your sequential signature file in such a manner that whatever the block signatures we get, we get them in a sparse matrix form. Okay, if you see properly in the previous example we have the signature file and this signature file is a sequential signature file and we will be having in the terms of a matrix where we will be having ones and zeros. If there are more number of zeros than ones or whatever the information which we are having in this particular matrix is very limited to store, we can perform the compression. That is when you have less number of ones, we can be maintaining it as a sparse matrix and we can compress the particular matrix. Okay. So in order to do that one, we, we need to have the particular sequential signature file or the signature file in which we are trying to store the signatures in a sparse matrix form so that you can perform the compression. So that is about compression. This compression will be used whenever your signature file is in a sparse matrix form. Okay, we will be looking at the compression in the last of this particular session. And we are having other two methods with which we will be defining our classification. The first one is the vertical partitioning where we will be storing our particular signature file in terms of column matrix. Okay, I think you remember your uh, column measure order and row measure order. Okay, in a similar mat in, in a similar fashion, we will be storing the signature in a matrix or column row ways. Okay, will be that is will be storing your particular uh, matrix in a row column measure order. Okay, so the signature file whatever you are having that will be stored in a column measure order. And the horizontal partitioning there is a third method with which will be creating your signature file. The horizontal partitioning will group similar signatures into one okay and instead of providing the index to the original thing we will be providing index to the groupings okay so we will be having our basic signature file from that basic signature file we will be performing your horizontal partitioning where we will be grouping similar signature into separate things 
and we will be creating an index for this groupings instead of creating index for your original signature file. So whenever you are having a original signature file you have to be doing sequential search in your particular linear search in your particular say, signature file. So based upon that particular search it will be much faster when you compare your searching in your horizontal partitioning files. Okay. So we will but whatever the future signature files which you are going to develop will involve any of these three things. That is it might involve your vertical partitioning where you will be storing your particular file in a column measure order or you can be involving in a horizontal partitioning where you can uh, group similar signatures into one and provide index to that one and we can involve compression where if your particular signature file is in a okay sparse matrix form we can perform the compression or we can be combining these two things that is we can implement vertical partitioning and compression in the same method okay or in the same signature file we can implement horizontal partitioning and compression in the same signature file so this is how your compression or how your uh, particular methods will be used in your signature files based upon which method which method you are using in your signature file we will be having our classification of your signature files so the sequential storage of your signature matrix okay your particular sequential storage whatever you have done you can implement with some classification the first classification is so your sequential signature file whatever you are having ssf this thing can be done without compression that is what is the improvement which you are doing is if you don't have the compression then we will be calling it as a sequential signature file okay so that is the basic method you are having this is the first part that is whatever sequential signature file which you are implementing without compression we will be calling it as the basic sequential signature file and if you are implementing compression to the basic signature file okay and the compression method can be done in various ways okay the various compression techniques will be looking it in the next sessions but for the time being know that so when you implement the compression we are having various methods the first method is bit block compression okay the second one is variable bit, variable bit block compression so we'll be looking at this uh, bit block compression and variable bit block compression in the next session okay for the time being know that so if you don't implement your compression we'll be calling the particular signature file as the sequential signature file and if you implement the compression part okay so the particular signature file can be either bit block compression file or variable bit block compression we will be implementing these two different methods of compression in your sequential signature file okay this is one classification where you implement the compression or without the compression okay so this is second classification part where you implement vertical partitioning i think you remember the vertical partitioning where you are going to store your particular file in a column measure order and inside the vertical partitioning and if you don't implement the compression okay you can you will not be implementing the com compression so such files are these three things that is we have bit sliced signature files or bssf and we are having frame slices and we are having generalized frame slice so these are the three different methods or three different signature file implementations which implement your vertical partitioning without compression okay i think you can remember these are the modifications of your sequential signature files without compression and with vertical partitioning okay so you have to remember this uh, particular files why because you are going to learn each and every part that is you are going to learn what are bit size signature files and what are frame slice and what are generalized generalized frame slice signature files you are going to look at all these signature files one by one in the further sessions okay and the next classification you need to know is your uh, same vertical partitioning that is you are having vertical partitioning so your signature signature file is going to have the vertical partitioning and also it is going to implement the compression so 
in signature file with in which you are having both vertical partitioning as well as compression of these three things that is we will be having compressed bit slices and doubly compressed bit slices and no false drop method these three are the methods or signature files which implement both vertical partitioning as well as compression okay next the third part where you are, can implement your horizontal partitioning okay so the various methods in which you are going to perform your horizontal partitioning is this one so the first thing is your particular signature file implements horizontal partitioning and there are going to be two different methods of horizontal partitioning where one is data independent partitioning another one is data dependent partitioning I think you remember what is horizontal partitioning where you are going to group similar signatures into one and provide index for those groupings okay here when you implement the horizontal partitioning either you can implement data independently or data dependently okay so when you perform the data dependent partitioning that is whatever you are going to grouping you are going to perform on depending upon the data in which your particular file is present so those type of partitionings will be having gastrosophens method and uh, partition signature files and the data dependent partitioning file methods we are having two level signature files and s trees okay the in this session we have this is about the all the classification parts you are having as a part of your uh, signature files so as you can understand you are having basic signature file without compression and with compression and we are having vertical partitioning with compression and without compression and you are having horizontal partitioning with data independent partitioning and data dependent partitioning so you are going to look at all these uh, six different or you can call it a signature file types in the further sessions okay so this is the classification you are having and then in this session we will just look about the in introduction to your compression part in the further session we will be looking about how this compression will be implemented the basic of your compression and what are the various uh, type of compression uh, signature files you are having okay I told you we'll be having your two methods. One is BCV. Okay, so those two methods will be implementing in the further sessions. So in this session, we'll look at the compression part, how it is going to be implemented. So whatever the signature file you are having, okay, or your signature matrix. I think you can remember the signature matrix. Signature matrix is nothing but your series of your block signatures. where each and every block signature will be stored sequentially in the form of rows okay so since it can be formed in the form of rows and columns we will be calling it as a signature matrix if the signature matrix is deliberately sparse remember it should not be generally sparse you have to deliberately keep it as sparse okay so whatever you have implemented in the previous example that is sequential signature file SSF. The sequential signature file is not deliberately sparse. Why? Because you are going to create one uh, particular sequential signature file without any thing about sparse matrices. That is, you are just creating based upon one method. That is, you will be taking your word signatures. From that, we will be creating our block signatures. From that, we will be creating our signature file. Now, where we have considered to keep it as a sparse matrix. Okay. so we'll be having a general terms and we'll be creating our sequential signature file but we'll not be considering about the sparse matrix but here whenever you want to implement the compression process you have to deliberately create one sparse matrix that is you have to deliberately create one uh, signature file or sequential signature file in such a manner that it is a sparse matrix that is you will be having more number of zeros and less number of ones or more number less information should be present in your particular matrix so whatever the, the particular spa, matrix you are trying to create signature matrix you are trying to create you have to deliberately make it as a sparse matrix okay in order to create that one we will be doing some process these methods create sparse document signatures on purpose and then compress them before storing them sequentially okay 
what you need to do you have to create as far as signatures and we we have to deliberately create them and we have to compress them so that whatever the file you are going to get whatever the signature file you are going to get it will be somewhat less uh, space efficient it will be better space efficient compared to your sequential signature file okay i think you can understand the importance of compression here even the deliberately creating one uh, sparse matrix and again you are performing compression so that it will reduce compared to your sequential signature file okay so how you are going to deliberately create one sparse matrix so whenever your compression is applied the best value for your m is 1 what is the best value for your m is 1 so i think you remember while creating your sequential signature file will be having okay each and every word signature will be represented by some b b bits okay each and every word signature will be represented by b bits and among these b bits m bits will be set to 1 m bits will be set to 1 okay so in order to imp uh, implement the compression process okay it is better to keep your m value is equal to 1 so if you remember in your previous example we have taken m value is equals to 3 so and you have taken your d va b value as some 12 that is your particular word signature or uh, block signature will be implemented by 12 bits and among those 12 bits 3 bits will be set to 1 but whenever you want to implement the compression process it is better to take your m value is equal to 1 and deliberately will be taking a b as some larger value compared to your 12 bits okay here you have taken 12 bits but you will be taking a larger value okay we will be looking at that particular with an example so resulting methods achieve better false drop probability than ssf for the same space overhead okay so what is the advantage you are going to get from this particular thing that is what is the advantage you are going to get by main making your m value as 1 so in the previous uh, whatever you have done in your sequential signature file you have taken m value as 3 and you will be getting one signature file with some space okay with the same space overhead and if you take m value as 1 okay we will be getting better false drop probability that is whatever you are going to search okay will not be giving you more number of false drops okay so in the next session we will be looking at how to implement this particular compression process okay how you are going to take your m value as one from that m value how you are going to create your uh, word signatures block signatures and how your compression is provided how your particular compression will provide better false probability we'll be looking at all these things in the next session thank you